Hey there, digital denizens of the interwebs, and welcome back to the Craig and Dave channel, where we slice through the dense jungle of tech and education with the machete of sarcasm and a sprinkle of middle-aged charm. I'm Dave Morgan, that's the other Dave to you, and today we're diving into a topic hotter than your laptop after a 10-hour gaming marathon. Can an AI commit copyright infringement? The US news organization, the New York Times, has thrown down the legal gauntlet against OpenAI, the brainiacs behind ChatGPT, and Microsoft, the tech titan that's been around since before most of you were a twinkle in your parents' eyes. Actually, since before I was a twinkle in my parents' eyes. Yikes! Well, they're going for the jugular, claiming billions with a capital B in damages. What's the beef? Well, it's the age-old tale of you use my stuff without asking, but with a silicon twist. The Times is spitting mad that their articles, their bread and butter, were allegedly fed to ChatGPT to boost its smarts. Let's break this down, shall we? AI, especially those brainy large language models like ChatGPT, are like sponges. They soak up data like your buddy Brian and all-you-can-eat buffet. These digital dynamos munch through the internet, gobbling up text and learning how to talk the talk. It's like you cramming for a history test, but you're reading every book in the library. Except AI can do this without sleep or energy drinks. The quality and the variety of this data buffet determines whether your AI will be the valedictorian or the class clown. Garbage in, garbage out, as we in Techland say. Now, the Times claims that their articles were a secret source in ChatGPT's diet, and they didn't get a dime or even a thanks pal. Worse, they say ChatGPT is now a freeloading competitor, coughing up their paywalled content like a magician pulling rabbits out of a hat. Readers, they argue, are getting the goods without dropping a single coin in the Times jukebox, hitting their subscription and revenue like a wrecking ball. It gets juicier. Bing, which has ChatGPT baked into it, is supposedly spitting out Times content without sending traffic their way. That's like borrowing your neighbor's lawnmower and not returning it, folks. I'm sorry, Arthur. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Here's where things get philosophical. When we humans learn, we absorb everything. Books, videos, overheard conversations. But when AI does the same thing, it's like walking a tightrope over a legal pit of doom. Humans get a pass with fair use transforming information into knowledge. But an AI can do that with even more perfect recall. And, well, it's like a photocopier on steroids. And that's where the lawyers start circling. Now, this isn't just a one-off scuffle. It's like the opening scenes of a legal drama series. From George R. R. Martin to John Grisham, authors abandoned together like the Avengers to defend their literary universes from AI interlopers. And GitHub's co-pilot? More like cop-out, according to some programmers, who claim that their code was swiped for the AI training. Looking into our crystal ball, we see stormy weather ahead for AI. These lawsuits are just the tip of the iceberg, and the ripple effect could either drown innovation or lead to a new era of digital enlightenment. We're talking legislative upgrades, copyright reform, and AI etiquette classes. Well, maybe. Is AI learning the same transformative process like human learning? Or legally, would it be more like a giant sized copy and paste? So to summarize, the New York Times has sued OpenAI alleging that their copyrighted articles were used without permission to train the AI. AI learns by analyzing vast amounts of data, including copyrighted material, which raises legal and ethical questions about its use. The outcome of this lawsuit could influence the future of AI development and necessitate changes in copyright law. This case in particular is part of a broader trend of legal challenges against AI by content creators who claim their work has been used without proper compensation. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out. All right, that's it. Class dismissed. The New York Times versus OpenAI showdown isn't just about who gets the biggest slice of the pie. It's setting the stage for the future of AI in our world. Will the times emerge as the David that slayed the Goliath of tech? Or will this be a footnote in the epic tale of artificial intelligence? Stay tuned, hit that like button, and if you enjoyed this cerebral workout, subscribe for more brain-bending content. And until next time, keep your neurons firing and your copyrights secure.